Okay, picture your favorite food in your mind right now with as much detail as you can. About 96 to 98% of you just pictured food. The other 2 to 4% thought about food, but didn't picture anything at all. That 2 to 4% have aphantasia. They don't form any mental images. This isn't considered to be a disorder, but rather a trait. Because it turns out the degree to which we actually form clear mental images of the things that we're thinking of varies greatly between all of us. You can almost think of mental images as having different resolutions the same way that pictures do. Some people think in 4K, some people think in 360p, and some people with aphantasia don't have any mental images at all. Aphantasia can be either congenital or acquired later in life, sometimes through a brain injury. It's not uncommon for people who have congenital aphantasia to not even know that they have it until later on in life. Sometimes it's not clear to them that other people actually see the things that they're thinking about. For people who are curious to find out if they have it, it can be diagnosed through an MRI, CT scan, or an EET scan. But it's most commonly diagnosed through the VVIQ visual test, which is a test of how clearly you can visualize the details of a set of mental images. To reiterate though, even though you can be diagnosed with that aphantasia isn't considered a disorder, so there's no cure for it. But even though it isn't a condition, there is some evidence that it can have a negative impact on your memory, particularly your autobiographical memory. It also seems like it could be linked to some behavioral traits related to autism, but a lot more research is needed in that area.